Hello everyone and welcome to oh. Hello everyone and welcome to the real finale of Mario Party 4. Last time what we did is we went through the present room and we did minigame mode. This time we're gonna be doing the options room. What fun there will be in there. And yeah, this'll be it for Mario Party 4. Been through pretty much everything. Um Welcome to the option room. So, you have the control rumble settings. I actually meant to switch that on, but I never did. But Anyways, we got the sound settings. Various records. Oh. Wait, there's two spots for minigame records. What? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, so we got the number of wins, Toad's Midway Madness. Greatest number of coins, 237. That was you. That was definitely you after you stole my lottery winnings. You don't remember that? I, re I remember stealing your coins. I don't remember how many I ended up. It was a lot because I won 100 coins in the lottery. And you took all of uh, It was a coin swap. And you took. And I swapped like your 20 coins with my like 150 or something like that. I did think I had 5 stars though. Uh, Goomba's Greedy Gala, which. I thought you won that board. Oh no, that's um, Shy Guy's Jungle Jam that you won. Um, so, yo. Wait, really? Out of all the boards, I played the Bowser one the most? Interesting. Um, total number of wins. Well, I mean, I did play the most as Yoshi, so... Makes sense there. Uh, so yeah, that's records. Sound settings. So you can switch between stereo and mono. Listen to the game music or listen to character. Oh, let's... Okay, this menu goes incredibly slow. if we didn't hear that track enough. Lucky lottery. He's coming. Yeah, he's here. That's the, the sexy Bowser. And then Coop Kid. One thing I really liked about the Bowser spaces was the suspense on if you were gonna see Koopa Kid or Bowser. Yeah, that's not like that in um, any other game. Huh? Yep. Gotta love this music. 
I would say that's one of my favorite boards. Angry shy guy. Yeah, I did boo in the piano. We never got to see Big Boo, though, which kind of stinks. We almost did in our party mode board, but... <laughs> Big Boo was super hard to get, because you gotta land on three happening spaces. Or, a happening space has to be landed on three times, which is really hard to do, because there's only two happening spaces on that whole board. Screw this board. And oh yes. Gotta love that. menu is aggravatingly slow. Ha ha ha. Well, you know where that comes from. Yeah, <laughs> that's all. And then we got the voices. And one thing that this Mario Party, along with Mario Party 3, that I really don't like is the music plays while you're trying to listen to the voices. There's no way to shut it off. War cry? Oh, is that the taunt? That's what they call them? I can't understand what you're saying, Peach. Right. Like I said, the music makes it kind of hard to understand. They are for the most part.
laugh. So too bad you can't really hear it. Various others. New record. Oh, and that's all the voices. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for Mario Party 4. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be cutting to the credits here shortly. Um, I'm gonna have to edit that in due time. Um, so anyways, uh, before I go, thank you so much for watching this project. Much appreciated. Uh, Mario Party 5 will be kind of interesting, especially for Caitlyn, because DK is not a playable character in Mario Party 5. And he is not a playable character. However, he is in Mario Party 5 in the form of his own space, which is essentially the opposite of a Bowser space. So good things will come if you land on... DK space in Mario Party 5. I'll be um, going over that more in Mario Party 5, uh, which will be starting next week. Um, maybe tonight if I can get the videos up in time, but I doubt it. But wish for thinking, maybe. Um, so, anyways. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this project. Much appreciated. Um, and we'll see you guys for Mario Party 5. See you then. And that was Mario Party 4 for what we played of it. Uh, this is gonna be on the finale. Um... So, I'm gonna give my thoughts of the game. I love Mario Party 4. Um, I feel like I did considerably better at Mario Party 4 than I did in 1, 2, and 3 combined. I feel like out of all the games, I won the most boards on this one. And I felt like I had the easiest time with the mini games. A lot of the mini games in this Mario Party are really good, in my opinion. Um, there were, you know, a couple of them that, you know, were stinkers, like Candlelight Fright, and God, I hate that minigame. Uh, that one I feel like is one of the worst in the whole series, just because of the mechanics on both, I, I don't like being on either side of that minigame, like, I don't know, just to me that just, it feels like a very poorly designed minigame, regardless of which side you're on. Um... But yeah, for the most part, I think the minigames are really, really good in this game. I think the graphics are probably the best in the series. Even better than the, the ones on the Wii and the Wii U. And that's saying something, because I feel like they put a lot of effort into a lot of the artwork and all that stuff in this Mario Party. That they, you know, they didn't put the same effort into the later GameCube Mario Parties in. You'll definitely see that um, once once we get to Mario Party 5. Um, the boards, though, I feel like the boards are a little bland in this game. They're basically a large majority of them. They're just a floating platform above a background, which, you know, I don't feel like that translated very well. 
But this is the first GameCube Mario Party though, so I guess you kind of gotta excuse them for, you know, having to work with the new system and they didn't, they never done it before because they're used to flat terrain because that's what they had to do in the N64 ones. So they didn't really know what to do. Um, but, you know, another part of it makes me feel like the boards were a bit rushed. And then another thing I don't like about some of the boards is a good chunk of them, yeah, you'll get trapped in a circle. You'll get trapped in a loop in about half of the boards, I would say. Um, if you're not in the right spot at the right time. Uh, so pretty much my biggest gripe are the boards. Um, and... Um, and then, literally, one of the boards is a rectangle. Like, that is such a... <laughs> what kind of a design choice was that? Literally a rectangle. Um, almost a perfect, like, rectangular window. Like, with the lines in the middle. Um, so, yeah. That's basically my thoughts on Mario Party 4. I love the game, but I just feel like the boards were a bit bland. And, um, you know, some of the minigames were not that great, but there are a lot of good minigames, though. Most of the minigames, I think, are really good. Um, but anyways, Caitlin, what are your thoughts on this game? Yeah, definitely. Like, you did good on most of the story mode board. And you definitely did better at the minigames in this game than you did in the first three. Yeah. But I feel like, you know, they're just easier. Yeah. But, anyways, end! Not the end, just end. Anyways, I will have to say thank you guys so much for watching this project. Much appreciated. And um, we'll see you guys next time for Mario Party 5. We'll see you guys later.